Okay, now we want to get to the latest on that deadly coal mine explosion in northern Turkey. Funerals have begun after 41 people were killed in the blast. As the rescue operation came to an end just a short while ago, reporter Dorian Jones is following the story for us from Istanbul. Dorian, take us through the latest information. Well, it's been a very grim day. Uh, rescue workers up until, as you say, the last few hours have been trying to recover or to at least rescue any miners believed to have been still trapped uh, up to 350 meters deep into the mine, but in incredibly testing conditions with fire still raging in parts of the mine and much of it had collapsed, uh, those efforts have finally come to an end. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan uh, has been visiting the, the mine, he's been speaking with the families and, uh, and with the miners who have been assisting in this rescue operation. He pledged that all rescue efforts will continue until the last miner have been counted for. Now, the cause of this, uh, this uh, terrible accident is believed to be, according to initial reports, fire damp, which is uh, a word to describe methane. It's a deadly enemy of miners and frequently does cause explosions. Uh, there's already controversy building over this accident. Uh, local media have been citing uh, what they claim was Turkish uh, regulatory authorities warning that this mine was vulnerable to methane gas explosions. Now, that has been denied by the government. And President Erdogan has pledged that anyone uh, re deemed responsible for this accident will be held to account. Now, Turkey is no stranger to these, these events. It has a very poor record. In fact, eight years ago, it witnessed the worst mining accident in summer, where over 300 people died. The then prime minister is now uh, was Erdogan. He, at that time, pledged that the mining uh, industry will be tidied up and made more secure. But again, Turkey has witnessed another devastating mining accident, and there will be scrutiny over the government's handling of the mines. But that will be for another day. Today, the country is now burying its miners and is in mourning for another mining accident. Dorian Jones reporting from Istanbul. Thank you, Dorian.